Sarah Palin has now had one convention speech, less than a handful of TV interviews, one debate with Joe Biden, and three days in full-on attack mode. How's that going for the Republican ticket? To the polls! The latest NBC Wall Street Journal poll says only 41% of Americans think Sarah Palin is qualified to be president. 50% say she's not. Those numbers virtually identical to last month, which means the debate in those interviews did not help her much. On the debate specifically, Palin did beat the very low expectations set by her cringeworthy airtime with Katie Couric and Charles Gibson. But then again, beating expectations that low is the political equivalent of getting a contact high in Snoop Dogg's van. Sort of hard to avoid. That said, beating low expectations and beating Joe Biden don't appear to have been the same thing. In the post-debate CNN poll, voters said Palin lost to Biden by 15 points. A post-debate CBS poll of uncommitted voters showed Palin losing by 25 points. Comparing debate to debate, John McCain did less bad. He only lost to Obama by 13 points in the CNN poll and by 15 points in the CBS poll of undecideds. On the positive side for Governor Palin, Saturday Night Live is turning out to be really, really good this season. We are not afraid to get Mavericky in there and ruffle feathers and not got to allow that. And also to the great Ronald Reagan. Am I missing something about the political assets of Sarah Palin? Does anybody still think the governor is working out well as John McCain's running mate? There are a few. Only a few people in this country who are up to the task of arguing difficult positions like this. But we have a friend who's always game and really good at it. Pat Buchanan, MSNBC analyst, joins us now. Pat, thank you for being here. Delighted. John McCain knew he had a weak spot on the economy. He has admitted such. Uh, but he chose someone who has less experience and less standing on that issue than even he does. Then the economy melted down and his poll numbers did too. You have to admit, Sarah Palin's starting to look like a bad pick, isn't she? No, that's a foolish analysis, Rachel. At the night of that, you were out there, I think, with us in Denver, when Barack Obama gave that excellent speech, he moved eight points ahead of John McCain. The next morning, Sarah Palin was picked, and within a week, John McCain had gained 10 points and was two points ahead of Barack Obama. When have you ever seen a vice presidential nominee give that kind of energetic boost to a presidential candidate. But he's now worse off than before he picked her. <laughs> well, look, something has happened in the last three weeks called that, that, uh, that uh, our friend out there in Omaha called the Pearl Harbor in the financial markets. Nothing can overcome that. But you overlooked or deliberately left out tonight's news on Drudge. The CBS poll says after Palin's vice presidential debate, the nine-point deficit McCain had is now down to four points in registered voters and three points in likely voters. Now, I don't doubt that the Republican ticket could very well go down. I don't know how you overcome something like what happened in the last three weeks. But to deny that Sarah Palin has been the sensation of this season is to not deny the evidence of your eyes, Rachel. But, but, but Pat, the big political issue here, and you could have seen it coming like a Mack truck through a tunnel, is this economic crisis. And one might expect that if he had picked somebody who had any <laughs> economic expertise or standing whatsoever, especially Rachel. given that he knew he had none, he might be doing slightly better than pulling out of Michigan right now, don't you think? No, Rachel, if I, we had seen it coming, I wouldn't have been holding on to Lehman Brothers three weeks ago. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was actually coming. But look, take a look at what she's accomplished. I'll admit the Katie Couric thing was a minor disaster, but... Where, have you, can, where do you know that anyone who could get 20,000 people out to see John McCain, who was getting 200 and 300? She's got groups of people coming out to rival Barack Obama's. 70 million showed up at the vice presidential debate. It was a tremendously enjoyable, interesting debate. Even old David Broder said, why didn't they unleash this woman earlier? Is she enough to override these last three weeks when 82% of the country thinks we're in the wrong direction? We've had a crash in Bush Bush is at 22 percent? Maybe not, but to deny that she's a good pick, I think, really, this is an ideological obsession, Rachel, that you've got to get over. I don't have an ideological obsession with anything this you've small. You've got some kind of obsession. <laughs> coming, out, coming out of that debate. Look, this is a Lawrence Harvey thing in enough human bondage. I, I, <laughs>
I know that you really want Sarah Palin to have been a good choice, but I feel like the objective evidence here disproves it totally. 41% of Americans think that she could be president coming out of, she's qualified to be president well, look, coming out of that poll, coming out of that debate. 50% of Americans say, no that. way. She's not going to get another crack at 7 million that. Americans. I, I understand that. I understand that. But if John McCain and I doubt it, but if he is down to four points behind Obama, who alone is responsible for it? Why isn't he 25 behind, given that what's happening in this economy, people's nest eggs are gone, jobs are being lost, companies can't borrow, it's a disaster, Bush is unpopular, and he's still hanging in there. I think one reason is clearly the tremendous excitement and attraction of this woman who's getting crowds of 20, 30,000. When have you ever seen a vice presidential candidate can do that? Well, she only can she got, do everything? She only Maybe she, not. She only only got 4,500 today, I will say. But Pat, if ultimately, if the legacy 4, of 4,500, when did you ever have 4,500? If the legacy speaking? of Sarah Palin ultimately recall. is that she has him lose by five points instead of 25, then we can agree to disagree on this and both get our way. Pat, it is very kind of you to be on the show. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Pat. Right. You've got to be nicer. Get out of that dump truck you were talking about <laughs> earlier. Nicer. A specialty right here. Next coming up.